This video has been created as part of the FAS Sustainable Sheep Systems project. Lambing can be an extremely labour-intensive time of year. This video demonstrates some low-cost ways in which daily tasks can be made easier to reduce labour hours over the course of the lambing period. This custom-made lambing box is an ideal tool for an outdoor lambing. It is fixed onto the front of the quad bike and has the ability to hold all the necessary equipment, such as tags and ear-notching equipment, castration rings, sprays, syringes and medicines, along with an electronic reader and lambing diary. It is secure and waterproof, meaning that any problems or tasks can be dealt with there or then without the need to transport the ewe back to the steading. It's got pretty much everything I need to... Well, everything you need in a lambing boot, like uh, I've got my scion for recording things with. Uh, I've got all my tagging stuff going in here for recording everything that's tagged outside. I've got uh, a selection of sprays, different coloured sprays, uh, lambing ropes, feet trimmers, blue spray, uh, some other salve in there for chap teats. Uh, got our castration stuff in here. Um, but calcium and this is uh, just this me claustrum tray I've got claustrum and I take a thermos with me every morning just so as I have it with me to mix up I just like having everything with me so any problem you have you can sort it right there and then I've got my lambing gloves and lamb jackets in there stuff for a uh, twin lamb a uh, bit of lube <laughs> you never know when you might need that. Top tap, if you want a lambing book, get these right in the rain. Uh, notepads, they're brilliant. Uh, they can handle a bit of moisture and dampness. Uh, got me notchers and scalpel blade. Well, scalpel, thermometer, and that tray. Um, that's me snack drawer. Bit of protein shake there. But uh, this is like, the ultimate. This is what I'm most proud of. I think it's absolutely magic. New medicine drawer. These field gateway ramps were created initially to help a farmer with health issues to be able to check the sheep without having to exit the vehicle. They also save around 30 seconds opening and shutting each gate. On a farm with an average of 10 fields where livestock are checked twice daily, this could equate to a labour saving of around 15 to 20 minutes per day depending on field linkages. This could add up to over eight hours over a typical five week lambing. They don't need to be expensive to, to construct and they can be removed when they're not required. Catching and retaining ewes or lambs in a field can sometimes be challenging without a good sheepdog. Then there's that occasion where you need to keep them retained until you go back to the steading for something such as a medicine or the trailer. Or perhaps you need to catch a ewe and a lamb where there's been a mismothering incident. The use of a lamb net and a super crook are good simple tools that will keep the animal restrained until you return and these are stress-free methods as well. In an indoor lambing system, farmers can sometimes spend hours over the lambing period providing pails of water to use in individual pens. This low-cost pipe system is simple to erect and allows a constant flow of fresh water to run through a number of pens at once with no additional labour requirement. It also saves pails being spilled, subsequently wetting the bedding, and some lambs have also been known to drown in a water pail within the pen. Feeding ewes can also take considerable time before and during lambing, whether it be filling silage buckets or hay hecks. It's worthwhile taking the time before lambing to review your lambing shed and consider what adaptions can be made for easier feeding. This cattle shed was used for housing ewes during a bad spell of weather. Some wooden troughs were quickly and cheaply made up to hang from the panel to allow the feed wagon to drive through the shed to feed a total mixed ration. This included the silage and the concentrate and no further feeding was required. This saves considerable amount of time during the lambing period. This simple and affected feeder is constructed by splitting a ring feeder and adding two straight sections in the middle. The joints are held together by thick cable ties kept loose to allow movement. As the sheep feed and the amount of forage reduces, the ewes naturally push the feeder in. This removes the labour requirement to grape silage within their reach, whilst it also increases the feed space and reduces bullying. It can hold up to two round bales and it's important to keep the shed mucked out to ensure the effectiveness as a build-up of straw can reduce the ability for the feeder to collapse. Other tips to reduce labour at lambing time are ensuring that you've got everything you need at your disposal in the lambing shed. This could include a cold water supply, a freezer for storing colostrum and a kettle for heating water for sterilising equipment 
or for defrosting colostrum at room temperature. Cameras can also be installed in the shed. This reduces the time spent physically checking the ewes and it also avoids disturbing them. Having a low labour system is not only important to reduce costs and to ensure time is spent doing the most important tasks, but it would also help in the event of members of staff being off sick unexpectedly.